I was uh, I had I was walking in this a few days back. I had a morning walk with someone, and you know, uh, the person said that see, I was very angry with the government after demonetization. And the person said, see, I'm a. He explained his position to me. He said, I am from the Sangh. I support the RSS. I've been a BJP voter. But when demonetization happened, I was very angry with the government because I felt that they have let down their own constituency because everybody had a family member, somebody. This person told me that my mother had two lakh rupees, you know, and uh, in cash. So for very personal reasons, we got upset. But now he told me that when I when on the morning walk, he said that when I see that my mother is doing all her transactions on a UPI device and uh, we have a completely cashless digital economy, then I feel that my anger was misplaced. So I think sometimes we react as people. Uh, Mr. Gurumurthy, uh, you know there are people who always look at the negative story, negative side, and we have many people like that. Uh, you know, I look at, uh, let me be direct with you, sir. I, I, I find Mr. Raghuram Rajan baffling to me because, I, I'll give my view, sir. I know you're on the board of RBI, you will not speak of individuals, but I find it baffling that he was very much there in the RBI when all the NPAs happened, and now he cribs about the NPAs. Regardless of that, I find that now they say, for example, I'll mention two individuals. Raghuram Rajan says, uh, you know, there's trouble ahead for India. He's finding trouble in everything. Uh, Mr. Arvind Subramaniam recently, he says that, oh yeah, good that Apple is investing in India, but we are not sure whether this will be sustainable, he says. Because there are many reasons why Apple's investment in India may be a one odd thing, you know? And of course, the usual suspects in the media pick that up and raise a question about cynicism. Uh, we are steamrolling ahead. And, and I think we, look, we should look at the positive story. Uh, and, and on the political side, let me tell you how people speak. I'm just talking about the cynic side. Uh, we have Rahul Gandhi, who every morning gets up and says, we must be very careful about China. China will do something big, you know? Uh, and he says our soldiers are getting beaten at the border, which is such a wrong thing to say. Uh, then Mr. Chidambaram says, you don't worry, the economy will fall. You know, he says it before the budget and after the budget every time. I want a very clear answer. You may not refer to the individuals. You may, if you wish. How should we deal with uh, cynicism? Uh, and how should we deal with these sort of these doomsday prophets who are around us nowadays? Mr. Gurumurth. See, basically these uh, uh, responses come from not uh, neutral minds. So you must classify Raghuram Rajan as an opposition party man. Then you understand what he speaks is easily understandable. I don't think anybody should be responding to Rahul Gandhi because he says he is a new Rajiv Gandhi. The old Rajiv Gandhi is eight years, ten years he was being projected as Prime Minister and he has been killed. That means even he feels that his past was a burden. Whether his future is a promise or not, he has to prove. That your past is a burden, you have admitted. Whether your future is going to be a promise or not, you have to prove. Then only we can consider Rahul Gandhi's opinion as something to be responded to and relevant. So far as Raghuram Rajan is concerned, I must tell you one thing. He once made an honest statement that the entire NPA is a creation of the UPA rule. But having said that, True, sir. how did he walk with Rahul Gandhi and how what pride Rahul Gandhi in walking with a man who said NPA was created by UPA? I cannot understand that. They, because they believe that the people forget so easily a new picture will obliterate the old facts. That's not the case. None of this looks credible, actually. If Apple is coming to India, it is not because it is cheaper to make the phone in India. It is safer to make it. Fantastic. The entire idea of... Fantastic, fantastic. The entire idea of cheaper supply chains has been finished. Yes. 
from cheap source to safe source is the shift in the world so that is why economics is also changing because safety is long term cheapness so we need not have to worry about it if india is sought after by the west it is in its own interest they need to develop india they need to strengthen india in every sense of the term otherwise the west is not secure do you mean to say otherwise they are going to tolerate the position we have taken uh, in in ukraine so they don't have they say, no 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 we understand your compulsions you have your traditional relationships we know about all this we are disappointed but do you expect a superpower like america to talk like this to us things have changed permutation combinations have changed balance of power has shifted so india is in an advantageous position but india will not misuse that position Fantastic. the greatest guarantee the world has about india that it will not be an immoral country that's true that's true that guarantee our civilization gives so i i i am not worried about the media or some of these people saying snide remarks here and there our journey will continue that's why i said i i again endorse what what ratan tata said we have another 25 years very very highly interesting period ahead this is the kind of uh, time that we have been hoping for so my next two questions related to that are on how indian businesses indian corporates you been you been in for decades a corporate advisor a corporate crisis manager everything in the past how should we adapt to this change and i link it to what is happening around the world sir after the cold war america felt that the world was theirs what you said liberal democracy and in fact i think francis fukuyama wrote this book saying the end of history, end of history. as we know it and now even Fra- he was so sure that what had been achieved was this uh, final state of history yes yes where america and liberal democracy will rule the world for the next 1000 years hegelian perspective it's a hegelian say. perspective so it while there was a marxist perspective this was the opposite perspective and i found it interesting i saw francis fukuyama i heard him recently disowning his own idea he says no 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 i didn't mean history in the way it was interpreted in the in the name of my book i meant some other form of history so today the when even a fukuyama is forced to disown his arrogance of 30 years back so we are entering a new phase of history how should indian companies indian business persons indian company owners indian startups approach their perspective to how they run their companies and i'm telling you this sir because 15 20 years back everybody felt oh globalization you know everybody read thomas friedman everybody wanted to be a globalist you know thomas friedman isn't that popular anymore so world has changed so we my question is that everybody had this american perspective to how they want to run the business every indian startup wanted to be a copycat model of a silicon valley startup in the lifestyle in the food in the way they behave in the antics they do in their office so everybody had this oh we have to be cool perspective and have a basketball court right in the middle of their organizations so i am asking you for from a cultural ethos perspective what is your advice while the world is changing to how indian corporates should run and operate their business and their business environments you see the indian corporates you now I, i have a long association with them i have seen them from inside i have yes. fought them none of them believed in the western model of doing business they were only acting the western model of doing business amazing amazing they always promoted loyalty though they will be talking about hire and fire professionalism and all that the closest and the most critical employees at any level include right down to the driver and peon they will be having only loyal people so the indian mind never accepted the western model of management or doing business but of course if you want some kpmg and others to come and look at your office that you must have some presentation model so my feeling is the indian business is essentially indian and when india's civilizational 
stature goes up in the world they will begin talking about the indian values indian way of doing things in fact you know many of my friends are marwadi businessmen i used to think their hr model is the best in the world because they used to own all the employees i have seen many marwadi top uh, the chairman and all that going to ordinary clerk's house if there is a problem this made the whole organization tick to one culture every organization had a culture has a culture it is not that it is a boarding and lodging culture so i think time has come it just japan did japan never believed in iron fire policy even in their promotions they were very sensitive that they should not promote a junior over a senior and they must get the senior to endorse that promotion they are also a very important uh, industrial power so you have to align your culture to development you see without aligning your culture to development at the family level at the corporate level at the government level at the media level you will never be able to become a global power on your terms you will become a global uh, power wearing somebody else's dress which japan tried japan is now thinking how to discard the courts and become japanese it's not possible in the house they have a different culture in the office they have a different culture because these are all strategic reformulation of a failed nation defeated nation to come up every nation formulates its strategies we have also formulated our strategies our business our but we were not a confident people now we are becoming a confident society confident business people our chartered accountants are becoming confident our lawyers are becoming confident our mbas are becoming confident so they can develop their own theories now so my feeling is as india rises the indian thoughts indian models indian way of doing things will become a brand for others to follow 